My name is Kim Beery and I am a colon cancer survivor. I found out I had colon cancer right after our 30th wedding anniversary. And I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And I was diagnosed with colon cancer. Breast cancer. But hearing those words were, were pretty devastating. My husband sitting beside me. I have two daughters. When he came in, the news was brief and short. Why wouldn't I get it? Other people do. He said, you've got colon cancer. He said, you have stage four colon cancer? The next three days, I feel like I went to the grave and back as I had no answers and uh, no direction. I found that time to be very disturbing. I'm a person of faith, yet I felt as if I had fallen in a deep pit that I couldn't get out of. It seemed as though nobody understood the cries of my heart. People really tried to listen. Someone called me up and asked if I had quit crying, and I wanted to tell him, wait, I've got cancer. It's just a very emotional time. You have to rely on your friends and your family to help get you through this. Because you really do need that support system. You need to stay positive, and uh, that support system helps you to stay positive. For probably one of the first times in my life, you, you have to try to find a way to put you first. And that helped me get through it. I just thought, let's go, let's get after it. Attack it aggressively. Has cancer made me a better person? Absolutely. And it can for you also. You have received some life-changing news. And I want to assure you that you are not alone. Caring people will walk with you on the path ahead. I believe that from the moment of diagnosis and for the balance of life, a person with cancer is a survivor. Your new journey of survival has begun. In most cases, cancer is treatable, beatable, and survivable. I have a few suggestions to help you move forward. Take someone with you because a second set of ears will sometimes interpret the information differently. One step is to gather information about your unique diagnosis. Take a notebook with you to your appointments, listing your questions that are often forgotten during a quick appointment. It is important to trust your oncologist because they will be with you on the pathway ahead. Ask questions to understand treatment options, possible side effects, and always know that you can get a second opinion. Another step on the path is to take control of the areas of life you can control. Be proactive with your health and strive to become as healthy as you can with good eating habits, sleep, and exercise. Deal with your emotions. The normal feelings of fear, denial, and helplessness are just a few of the emotions you may experience. Identify what you're feeling and work through the emotions by journaling, visiting with a friend, or going to a counselor or pastor. Name your emotions, release them, and move on. Fix broken relationships, life is too short, and one's priorities can be rearranged to cherish and strengthen connections with the important people in your life. It is time to forgive and be forgiven. Because anger and bitterness will hinder your recovery, you may need to let go of some hurt to hold on to hope. Develop a mantra, a saying that is uplifting and will keep you focused. Hide your crazy was my motto. I have this strong conviction that, that God's not done with me, and I would call it a speed bump in my life. And I just had to slow down and do what the doctor said I should do and, and go on from there. I spent way too much time crying over my hair. My mantra is to fight the good fight. And that means to keep on trying, to keep getting back up, to put aside everything that gets in the way. Jeremiah 29, 11, 12, 13 says, God says, I know the plans I have for you. Uh, not, not bad plans, but plans of, of good for you. And I've always believed that. And so this, this cancer just came as an interruption. Your world has changed. Your survival journey has begun. And remember, you are not alone. A final helpful step on the path is to identify support systems where you can share your feelings and receive support. Ask your oncologist about cancer support groups in the community. Engage in support systems already in place, like a church family, existing friends, your faith, 
or new friends who are survivors themselves. A cancer diagnosis can make us become better people. It is said, cancer never leaves us the way it finds us, and sometimes it leaves us better than before because it can give us a new appreciation for loved ones and life itself. To me, my cancer diagnosis and my fight was all about my family, and I just want to make sure that I'm here to see my girls grow up. My family became number one. I didn't want anyone to uh, uh, think that I was dying or anything like that. But I think somehow going through this experience has made me more positive. There's so many hurts and pains and aches. Through that all, I, I always wanted to carry my head high. I never wanted to look uh, sickly and pathetic. Maybe it's a pride issue, I'm not sure. You meet so many fabulous people along this journey. Um, it, it is by far the toughest thing I've ever had to do, but if I wasn't faced with this adversity and cancer, I probably would have missed out on meeting so many wonderful people. The cancer has given me an appreciation for life. Once you have faced cancer in your life, you do become part of something special and that other cancer survivors are part of your network and we do want to try to help other people who are facing what we have and um, share our journey in order to help other people. What's next? You can find out more information by visiting the Facebook page Cancer Now What or you can send an email to Cancer Now What 2014 at gmail.com. Reno County Cancer Resources are the following. If you have a financial need and you are a patient in Reno County, you may be able to receive financial help from the Cancer Council of Reno County. You must meet the following criteria. Live in Reno County, have a cancer diagnosis, have a financial need, and you can contact them by calling 620-665-5555. If you're interested in a support group, you can visit the Courageous Faith-Based Support Group for Patients and Caregivers. Along with, there's a different group for women named HOPE, and it's a women's support group that meets at the Hutchinson Hospital. You can contact both of those support groups by calling 620-665-5547. Then there is a website you can visit if you have a child who has cancer. You can find that Smallville Superstars, our support group at www.smallvillesuperstars.com. And then there is a cancer ministry in town found at the Countryside Baptist Church where their cancer ministry cares for the needs of cancer patients. You can contact them by calling 620-662-4048. This video is sponsored by the Cancer Council of Reno County, Countryside Baptist Church, South Hutchinson Christian Church, and Trinity United Methodist Church in Hutchinson, Kansas. Join me on the journey from despair over to hope, one courageous step at a time.